Even as this part of the northern hemisphere is experiencing another near record warm winter and glaciers are retreating around the Arctic Circle, scientists are warning that the sea ice around Antarctica has dropped to its lowest level, breaking the record set just last year. According to the National Snow and Ice Data Center, Antarctica's sea ice is now at its lowest point since satellites started monitoring the levels in 1979. Researchers warned that with the summer melting season now hap- happening in the southern hemisphere, the ice could shrink even further. CNN Chief Climate Correspondent Bill Weir is on his way to Antarctica, joins us tonight from South Argentina. Bill, it's amazing you're there. It looks incredibly beautiful. Can you just give us a sense of the scope of the problem, how much ice has been lost and what that means for the region as a whole? Yeah, to give you that perspective, Anderson, uh, you got to consider the fact that the top of the world, the Arctic, is, is an ocean surrounded by continents. Down here at the bottom, it's a continent surrounded by oceans, which complicates climate change as, as it has been observed. And for a long time, scientists thought it was somewhat immune to the effects uh, because the ice around the continent was growing. In 2014, it was about 7 million square miles. But in less than 10 years, the National Snow and Ice Center out of Colorado has confirmed it has broken the record again. Now it is just over 700,000 square miles. So that's over 90% of that ice around Antarctica has disappeared in less than a decade. And the trend line is really disturbing because it makes the glaciers that hold all the land ice in place. Uh, We're not worried about sea ice melting. It's like the ice cubes in your glass. It doesn't spill your drink when it melts. It's all that land ice that's being held in place by these ice dams like the Thwaites Glacier. It's a glacier the size of Florida. It's already hanging on by its fingernails, but now with less sea ice protecting it, it just, uh, it spells bad news. So how much of the melting can be attributed to climate change? Well, because it's so complicated, the weather systems in the Southern Ocean, they need at least another decade of of data to say specifically empirically that this is what percentage is caused by uh, planet cooking pollution as well. But the trend lines are just so obvious. They've had spikes in record high temperatures like the freakish ones we saw up in the Arctic and Greenland are starting to happen down here uh, as well. And this this is, of course, a, a threat to sea coastal cities everywhere. Yeah. 